After a decade in politics, former National MP Jamie Lee Ross is out of Parliament. The Advance NZ co-leader joins me now. Jamie Lee, you just described yourself as a loser. You are out of National, out of Parliament, out of Botany. Your political career is in tatters. Do you have any regrets? Look, we gave it a good go uh, this time round. Uh, we put together a new party we, in just a few months' time. Uh, we only gathered 1% uh, of the vote. It clearly wasn't enough, but I've enjoyed the opportunity to work with all the people that I have with Advance New Zealand. Do you want to have another crack at answering that? Because I just ask you if you have any regrets. You've just been um, part of a political movement which has been peddling misinformation during the election campaign. Do you have any regrets? No, I think we were asking some hard questions about the direction of COVID-19. If you're asking about regrets throughout the whole three-year term, of course, we could have all done things a lot differently and a lot better back in 2018. But we're here now, um, we made our bed and we just moved I want forward. To I want to focus on the strategy. Look, why, why on earth did you get into bed with Billy Tekahika? I could see that there was a lot of growth on social media. There was a lot of growth in the t number of people coming so along and looking at it. purely political ambition. No, I you could sold see, your soul I for could, political I could, ambition. I could see that there was uh, people out there who were asking questions around things that I believe in too, around freedom and sovereignty uh, for New Zealand. And a but, pandemic. No, that is nothing. I've never said that, Tova. You haven't, but he that. has. I've never said that. COVID-19 is a real virus, and we were asking questions about whether the country was going in the right direction. You know exactly what you were doing. You were whipping up fear and hysteria among vulnerable communities. Not at all. If you go and look at the mortality rate of COVID-19 compared to other um, flu epidemics... I'm going to stop. No, I'm not, I don't, so, don't so, want to so, hear, so, I don't so, hear any, of, I don't you hear you any of that just, rubbish. You can't what are you, just give what are, me that and not allow me to answer. Well, so. if you're going to come on, if you're going to come on the show and say things which are just factually incorrect. I can do that, actually. Politics is all, you, all you've known. What are you going to do? What are you going to do after this? I think it's time for a rest. Uh, but, look, I've enjoyed um, the decade that I've been in Parliament. I think it's been one where I've been able to serve my community of botany, and I've done that diligently. And the last two years wasn't what I expected when we had election 2017, uh, but there's a whole lot of characters in the National Party, too, that I think uh, will be looking back at this term and thinking they could have and should have done things a lot differently. Who, you said you do have some regrets from the, the three-year parliamentary term or perhaps more broadly in your political career. Um, this might be the last time that you're on air, it's probably the last time that we'll invite you on. Are there any apologies that you want to issue to anyone? I think we all in the National Party back in 2018 could have done things differently, and we should have. And that was probably the start of the decline uh, for the National Party. Had we all done things differently, we'd all be in a different position. But it happened, we move forward, and we focus on the future. That's do you, what I'm doing now. Do you take now. some responsibility for the drubbing that was served to the National Party last night? Internally... Back in early 2018, I was asking questions about whether the party was too negative, whether we should have been more aspirational, whether Simon Bridges was connecting with New Zealanders. I wasn't listened to internally. That was the falling out I had with Simon Bridges. Over time, it got worse, and it blew out publicly. I was saying back then, though, the National Party wasn't connecting. Tonight, or last night, their 27% was because they weren't offering a vision. They weren't offering hope to New Zealanders, and Jacinda Ardern did. Why did you stand down in botany? Because all of the conversations that we had, you were still convinced that you were somehow going to win that seat. People have described you as a narcissist. It did almost seem like a kind of narcissistic belief that you could win the seat that was obviously going to go to Christopher Luxon. Why did you stand down? You're just rolling out all the terms, aren't why you? Did you why over. did you stand down? <laughs> I wanted to focus on the nationwide campaign with Advance New Zealand. We had 62 brand new candidates and I was doing that. Had I stayed in Botany, I probably would have taken so much vote off Luxon that Labour would have won the seat. So I guess my final gift to the You're National dreaming, Party was, was, was giving them Christopher Luxon. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Former National MP Jamie Lee Ross.